So another solution you might consider if you're having the problem of too many manufacturers of RGB lighting in your PC and you've got four pieces of software to do it is consider using OpenRGB. Now, it does exactly like what Signal RGB does is it's meant to take all of these differing softwares and hardware pieces and pull it all in under one piece of software. So OpenRGB, go check it out. The website, uh, download the tool. It's a fairly simple tool. Uh, once you get it downloaded and you can just run it, make sure you have the latest version, by the way. I did run into a problem with an older version not uh, detecting the Lee and Lee controller. So once the device opens, it should go through a device detection phase. Now it supports a very wide range of hardware components out there. Uh, the one component though that I actually want it to support, which is the Commander Core XT, is not on the supported list and it does not detect it. It may come up and ask you uh, about existing zones, resize the zones. And what this is telling you, like for this screen in particular, it's saying that the Lee and Lee controller doesn't have anything configured on channel two, three, and four, which it doesn't. So in this case, we're just gonna leave the size of zero, but you may find, depending on what hardware you have attached to this, that you need to go through and do a little bit of configuration, uh, but you can do it after the fact as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this. And then this lands you to the main screen here. Talking about the device tab over here on the left, this is showing you what devices it's detected. It's detected the Z590 motherboard, Lee and Lee, Corsair, wireless mouse, AMD Wraith Prism up here. And I also do have some nano leaf lines over here on the wall. I was able to pair it up with that with no problem at all. Basically, you're gonna select what device you wanna configure. And then the zone is what object on that device do you wanna configure. Basically, we can select it and then we can go ahead and select what LED on that zone we want. And then we should be able to select the color. There we go. And because the front Fantex fans are paired up to one of those headers, works just fine. But anyways, we can control that. And of course, we can divvy down into the details as well you know, selecting which zone, which LED device on that zone that you want, or you can do a select all. Now, one thing I do like about open RGB is you can select a direct mode here, which kind of puts you back to the traditional way of doing things. Yeah, you know, I can select static, of course. Yeah, and just apply a color, breathing. You get the idea. You know, it's pretty just typical of what we're used to seeing. Some of the modes will allow you to uh, change the speed, the brightness, so on and so forth. That'll kind of vary based on you know what devices you have and what's going on. Let's take the AMD Wraith Prism, for example. We should be able to select what zone. Now it knows that there's a ring, the fan color, and the logo color. Let's try to change the logo color. And let's just put red on that and apply colors to selection. Looks like that works. Blue. And honestly, I've noticed when it does work, I don't even have to hit the apply button. It just changes it. So let's change the ring the entire zone, let's change it to blue. Perfect, works good. Put it over to fan, let's make the fan red, perfect. Now you can come down here and toggle LED view, which just gives you a little bit of a different way of interacting with it. So if we go to the Wraith Prism, you know, I can select the, the logo here and change it to what I want. The fan, it looks like you can't select the individual thing, so you still have to do it. So we'll change that to green and then I can kind of mess around with the individual LEDs here. So that actually works pretty good. Uh, there is some information you can get on each device out here. Uh, the settings over here, you know, there's a bunch of different uh, devices that it supports. It does have a supported device list that you can come in here and filter, but you can create profiles and things like that and kind of change everything up and mess around with it. So I highly recommend you go to the OpenRGB website, check out all the additional materials and information they have. Uh, one of the things I want to point out is they do have a bunch of additional plugins for this tool, which can greatly expand what it does. For example, you get the Open RGB Effects plugin and the Open RGB Visual Map plugin. And basically, what you want to do is you want to download these. But once you've downloaded the plugin, come over to the Settings tab, go to the Plugins, and then here you can install additional plugins. Once you install it, it will show up here and then you can enable it and that should give you some additional tabs up at the top. The lighting effects, for example, just gives you a bunch of different lighting effects that you can apply to the lights. And we'll go ahead and just select one here and then we can enable or disable this particular effect. We can rename it, we can remove it. You get a bunch of settings for this particular effect and then over here on the right hand side we get which components and devices that we want to apply that to. We can select all, reverse all, change the brightness, things of that nature. But then we can go ahead and enable that and we should be able to get those effects to apply to all our devices. 
recommend you get in here and play around with that. It, this is where you can really start to expand what you can do with the software. The visual map is another way for you to just apply different lighting effects to it. You can select different devices and just come over here to new map and it should show a new map, but then you can add different devices to the map and it just represents them here on the screen. And then from here, you can start to just change different lighting effects. So from here, we can come over to the VMAP menu and we can start adding backgrounds and doing customized pictures and things like that, which should just shine through these lights, kind of like murals or signal RGB, the same basic idea here. This expands into a whole lot of different things that you can do, but you get some basic controls over what you want to do. Of course, you can do custom files and things like that. And you can add additional colors and you know, start changing the gradients and things like that, brightness controls, so on and so forth. And of course, you can move things around on the map as you want, as you see fit. It's quite a bit you can do here with it. It's more of just a matter of playing around with it and kind of getting some different looks. Uh, overall, just get in here and have a lot of fun with it and see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, there's additional plugins available to you, hardware sync plugins, some fan sync plugins. But get to the website, check out all the plugins that are there, download them, play around with them, and check out some of the other information that's available to you. But from an overall perspective, at least this particular machine here, other than the uh, Corsair fans, I am able to just come in here and change all the colors kind of at once and it works well enough. Anyways, I think OpenRGB is kind of a cool piece of software, even though it's not really a piece of software that I would use. I don't really love the layout of it. I do have to fight it at times when I'm playing around with it, and the fact that it doesn't support the Corsair Commander Core XT, it's kind of a bust for me. Uh, but I like the direction that they're going. I like that people are trying to get this stuff to work, even though this isn't new software by any stretch. It's been out for you know quite a while. But I would highly recommend, go download it. It's free of charge. Play around with it. Check it out. Let me know in the comments below if you've used OpenRGB and what your experience is with it. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching.